the number of groups are three or more distinct numbers that can be chosen from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that the groups always include 3 and 5, while 7 and 8 are never included. And so they should always include 3 and 5. So you have 3 and 5. Never have 7 and 8. While 7 and 8 are never included. So 3 and 5 are in. So we're going to have 1, 2, 4, 6. May or may not be in. 7 and 8 are never included. So we could select between 1, 2, 4, 6. Out of this, any category could be in. 7 and 8 are never included. We need to be very careful about this. We could have only one. We could have two out of these, three out of these, four out of these. Each of them could be in or out, in or out, in or out. At least one of them should be selected. And then we think about uh, how many ways this can be done. And so 7 and 8 are never included together. It's very interesting. 7 and 8 are never included together. That means I could have 1, 2, 4, 7. I could have 2, 4, 6, 8. I cannot have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7 alone could be there, 8 alone could be there. Only 7 and 8 together cannot be there. We said 7 and 8 are never included. Then it's easy. Think about 1, 2, 4, 6, figure out the combinations we have done. 7 alone can be there, 8 alone could be there. So what do we do? We say, hey, let's count everything. So I'll have 1, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. Three elements should be there. At least three, three or more. That means already two are there. Out of this one, two, three, four, five, six, at least one should be there. Each of them could be in or out, in or out, in or out. Two part six possibilities. From this, we subtract one. The one possibility where nothing is selected. So two part six minus one. We have 63 subsets possible that have at least three or three elements and three and five are included. Now within this, we'll say we'll remove everything where we have 3, 5, 7 and 8. Everything that includes 3, 5, 7 and 8. That means 3, 5, 7, 8 out of 1, 2, 4, 6. Any 1 could be there, any 2 could be there, any 3 could be there, all 4 could be there, none could be there. All of those possibilities will remove. That means out of 1, 2, 4, 6. In, out, in, out, in, out in, out, all possibilities, 2 power 4 possibilities, 16 different combinations will remove because all 16 of them will have 3, 5, 7 and 8. That's not possible. So from this 63, we'll knock off those 16 to give ourselves 47. So 47 subsets will have 3 and 5, will have at least 3 elements, will not have 7 and 8 both together. The other way of doing this, count everything with 1, 2, 4, 6, count everything with 7 but not 8. And then 8 but not 7. 7 but not 8. 8 but not 7. Everything with 1, 2, 4, 6. In all of this, we need to keep in mind that we do not want to count any 3 elements subset. Uh, any 2 elements subset. At least 3 elements need to be there. That's the other way of going about it. Which is also possible. It's also doable.